Besides being the former president of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta is a businessman who knows how to multiple his source of income. But have you ever stopped and wonder how this star lives? In this video, you'll find out everything about the luxurious life of Uhuru Kenyatta. But before we get started, I challenge you to click on subscribe and turn on the post notification on with less than 5 seconds. Okay, let's get started. Born in 1961 in Nairobi, Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta was born into a wealthy and politically powerful Kikuyu family and found success as a businessman before entering into politics. He is the son of the first president of Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta, and his fourth wife Mama Gina Kenyatta. After attending St. Mary's School, Uhuru Kenyatta went on to study economics, political science, and government at Amherst College in the United States. After graduation, Uhuru Kenyatta returned to Kenya and was nominated to parliament in 2001. He then became the minister for local government under the late president Daniel Arap Mui. He was then favored by Mui as his successor in the 2000 presidential election but lost to the opposition candidate Mwai Kibaki. During the late former President Mwai Kibaki's second term, he served as Deputy Prime Minister in 2008 to 2013, Minister of Trade in 2008 and Minister of Finance in 2009 to 2012. In 2012, he formed the National Alliance TNA. Later that year, TNA joined the Jubilee Coalition, and he became the group's candidate in Kenya's 2013 presidential election and won. He then faced charges at the International Criminal Court in connection with post-election violence that occurred after the 2007 presidential election and the charges were dropped in 2014. Uhuru Kenyatta was re-elected for a second and final term in the 2017 general elections, winning 54% of the popular vote defeating former Prime Minister Rayla Odinga. And with such massive success, former President Uhuru Kenyatta is regarded as one of the most successful politician in the world and has achieved a lot of financial results and can now enjoy a very luxurious life. Like many successful politicians in the world, former President Uhuru Kenyatta has Sony luxurious mansions. He has a luxurious Caledonia estate home which is its gateway home. The estate is guarded by a reinforced security system which includes bulletproof windows, high concrete walls, an electric fence, and a state-of-art alarm system. Inside the compound, it features a large swimming pool, a private helicopter pad, and a second swimming pool nest to an extensive driveway lined by trees and guest houses. The estate is estimated to be worth $6,500,000. He has another mansion which is next to the state house in Nairobi. The mansion has bulletproof windows, an electric fence, and state-of-the-art alarm and security systems installed in the home. In addition to its many offices, meeting rooms, and luxurious pool, the facility also features a large lounge for entertaining guests. The mansion is valued around $7 million. He also has a mansion in Kiambu County, which is his hometown. The mansion features a distinctive V-shaped entryway, and the family has dedicated a portion of the property to a presidential library, museum, and public policy institute. It's valued around $1 million. Many people would ask what kind of cars Uhuru Kenyatta has before and after being a president. Uhuru Kenyatta has a Mercedes-Benz G-Class in his collection. With 4.0-liter V8 to turbo engine, it produces 416 horsepower and can go from 0 to 60 kilometers per hour in 5.6 seconds. The interior is luxurious with well-cushioned and supportive seats, high-end finishes, and plenty of room. It's valued around $200,000. He also has a Mercedes Maybach S600 Pullman Guard. The Pullman Guard provides complete protection of protection class and is certified for blast resistance. The Mercedes Maybach Pullman combines extremely spacious seating with uniquely detailed features characterized by their perfect craftsmanship. It is powered by a twin turbo V12 engine with 523 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque. 
Its starting price is around $1,400,000. He also has an armored Lexus to a 176570 which is surely at the top of Uhuru Kenyatta's list when it comes to traveling around safely from place to place. The whole car is clad in a thick armor plating which provides for protection against bullets, bombs, and even grenades setting the standard for both luxury and security. It's valued around $500,000. For easier navigation through a very detailed and complex world, Uhuru Kenyatta is said to own a Gulfstream G280. The Gulfstream can seat about 19 passengers. It combines the power of two Rolls-Royce jet engines, the experience of a full bar and kitchen, and its medium size, meaning it is able to land at smaller airports. This business jet is a very popular choice among people who fly between more regional areas on business trips. The mid-size business jet costs about $25 million. When it's time to keep track of time, Uhuru Kenyatta has a unique watch collection. He has an Arnold and Sun H and Perpetual Rose Gold watch in his collection. The watch features a case made from 18 karat red gold. The watch is estimated to cost around $30,000. Another watch for a man who definitely likes to know the time is the Cartier Santos 100 watch. It features an alligator skin strap with 40 triple folding steel buckle, black oxidized steel sword shaped hands with luminescent coating. It's estimated to cost around $6,000. He also has a Rolex Oyster Perpetual in his collection. The Oyster Perpetual is the lowest priced model of Rolex has to offer, but has been described as the bread and butter of the Rolex brand. It's estimated at around $5,300. The Kenyatta family has established a multi-billion dollar commercial empire that is likely to last not only throughout the Republic of Kenya's history and also in international nations. The Kenyatta family owns the Mia Max Limited which comprises the People Daily Newspaper, K24 TV, Kim FM, Malel FM, and Meru FM. They also own Brookside, which supplies milk across the African continent. The family also owns other dairy companies like Ilara, De La Mir, and Molo Milk. The family owns the National Commercial Bank of Africa. The family has 13.2% shares in the holding, making it the biggest shareholder. The family also owns the Heritage Group of Hotels, which are Great Rift Valley Lodge in Naivasha, Mara Explorer Camp in Masai Mara, Voyager Ziwani in Teta Taveta, and Voyager Beach Resort in Mombasa. And with all successful business and his political career, Uru Kenyatta net worth is estimated to be more than $1.5 billion. If you were Uhuru Kenyatta for a day, what's the first thing you'll do? Let us know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to East Africa Celeb Life. Catch you in the next video.